welcome back to Camping with Emmy. I'm Denise. In this video, I am going to be doing the bunks. Yay, I'm finally getting to the, the bunk beds in the camper and we have two. Uh, prepping the walls is very important and so that is the first thing that needs to be done. And like all the other walls in the camper, the bathroom and the whole kitchen and bank it, at area, um, I spray down the walls with the crud cutter to get any grease or grime off of the walls. Next, I'm going to use my spackling to spackle any holes that need to be done. Um, in the bunks, they had double curtain rods on both of the windows, and so there's quite a few holes. And I'm going to do a single rod in each window, so I need to get those covered up. Then, I'm going to take my palm sander, and I'm going to sand down the walls real well, and then wipe them all down and get any, you know, um, sand, sawdust off of the walls, get it all cleaned up good. And then I am going to be painting and I'm going to use the same paint on the bunks that I've used in the camper. And that is the Zinsser Smart Coat Advanced Paint and Primer in One. And this has worked really well. I do anticipate it taking at least three coats, uh, maybe four, because uh, that's what it's taken in the other rooms that I've done so far. Um, I do think that this is going to be a little bit challenging because when you're working in bunks, you're working in a very small space. So I'm going to be crouched over <laughs> trying to get this done. So I know that it's going to be a little bit challenging, but that's okay. Because in the end, I think that they are going to turn out adorable. purchased for the to make the curtains for the bunk area and I chose this really pretty green and the reason I did was this is what one of the pillow shams look like that are going to go in the bunk area and it has a lot of nice vibrant color in it with greens and oranges and blues but I thought that the green curtains would look super cute to match this and these also have uh, matching comforters which you will see when the bunk gets done. So I thought because the grandchildren will be using the bunks I wanted to go with a nice vibrant fun color. Mm -hmm.
the top bunk and I unscrewed it so that I could reupholster it. As you can see, this has the original 1990s uh, fabric across it. And so um, I took some leftover fabric from the bank at Cushions and I cut it out to fit. I zigzagged the edges because this material does unravel easily. And I'm just gonna lay this down. I'm going to use my fabric glue and I'm going to just take and glue this all the way around. And then um, I'm going to screw it back into place and it's gonna look really nice. These are the curtains that I'm going to be using in the camper um, on the window over the sink. Now, these curtains I have had for probably six or seven years. I had them in a previous house that we lived in hanging in a bedroom. And I'm glad that I kept them because they're going to be perfect in the camper. Obviously, I have to cut them way down because they are very long. <laughs> However, one rule of thumb when hanging up curtains on a window is you want double the amount of fabric that will cover the window. That way your curtains will look nice and full. by hand. I just think that it really gives it a nice finish when you're all done. And then of course, once I get this all sewn in, I will press in my hem so that it will look nice and crisp. And here are the curtains hung up over the kitchen sink. I think that they turned out adorable. to go in the bunks. I actually have four of these pillows and I purchased a sofa and two armchairs several years back now and these pillows came with the set and I didn't end up using them but I held on to them and I'm really glad I did because I think these are going to work really well. This is the pillow sham and it has a matching comforter and these are what are going to go in the bunks since the kids will be pretty much using the bunks. I thought this would be a really fun fabric and print for them. I am going to recreate a few of the illustrations on this to put on the pillows and I think I'm going to do the campfire and a pine tree and I think this adorable little fox here.
accent pillows for the banquette in the kitchen. So what I did is I went online and I downloaded this free template of the state of Michigan. And this is what I will use when cutting out the material. Now, when I was at Joanne Fabrics getting the material to make the bunk curtains, I also picked up this material here and it says Michigan and it has a lot of the things that are important to Michigan on this material. So once I have it all cut out, since I don't have a serger machine, I'm just going to zigzag around the edges of it and then cut close to the zigzag. Then I will be using some iron-on uh, adhesive to adhere my uh, State of Michigan material onto the pillows. pillows are all done. For any of you new to my channel, I live in Michigan, if you couldn't tell. That's why I chose to do the Michigan pillows for the banquette. I think they turned out super, super cute. Okay, today we're going to install the rope ladder in the bunk so all our grandbabies can get up there. Not really sure exactly how we're going to place it, but we bought this ladder for an outdoor playset but it already had the rings on it so we were able to hook onto it and then I think that if we use these things here we want to be able to take it off quickly so we're going to if I can get it out of the bag use one of these so we go through there Go through here, hook it on, and get to take it. Leave this on, and screw that down to the bunk. Uh, we have purchased this ladder on Amazon. And we do want to be able to take the ladder off because we do have very small grandchildren that we don't want climbing up the ladder. But we do want to be able to use it for the older grandkids. Uh, they range from 15 to 9 months. <laughs> so that's why we're coming up with a, a way that we can put it up for the older kids to take it down so the little kids can't get up there. See these are the screws. We're going to go down through the bunk. Hopefully... This was enough to hold it. If not, I'll have to take this whole thing off and put some material, two by material in underneath these to get a better grip on them. I think these will be all right because it's just pulling straight this way. And anyway, we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna drill a small pot hole, put those screws in. So either way, the pot holes are gonna go in no matter what. plate of ham and eggs. The chicken's involved, but the pig's committed, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. I'll move that up or down. I don't think it matters. I guess it doesn't matter. together so that it stays on there secure. There. Now 
know, they're just sitting there and the mattress should push down on these and not have any, should be able to feel it unless we get the princess in here and she can <laughs> feel a pee through the, <laughs> right. or something like that. Well, the head's going to go at the other end anyway, so it'll all be good. So, so I'm thinking that it's pretty, pretty strong. Like I could say if it starts cracking loose, we'll reinforce it underneath. But that requires taking the bunk apart and adding some material. The, the top board is just screwed on. So right now, this seems seems to be pretty good, and we're not letting any uh, adults up there. Adults are going up there. We'll just chuck them up there. <laughs> They're not going to climb the ladder. They're not climbing the ladder. <laughs> And so now we just have to take off the excess down at the bottom. Oh yeah, it is. It's not too bad. Yep. So I guess I guess yeah, we can look at taking this off and maybe leaving that right down to the floor. Yeah, maybe it'll help it be just more stable. Just in case stable. we want to secure that to the floor. Right. Well, we weren't sure how old the smoke alarm was that was in the camper, and obviously nobody wants to take a chance on having an outdated. Smoke alarm, the camper's over 20 years old, so we just elected to get a new one. And they still sell ones that go right into the same base that was already here. So we, uh, all we had to do was buy the new one and uh, goes right in. So we bought a carbon monoxide detector, a separate one. You can buy them with the smoke alarm built in but we elected to go with the separate ones um and we decided to mount it right here so it comes with a little base it didn't the camper didn't have one so we just mount it there it slides right down should stay in place it uh, uh works <laughs> that don't get you out of bed nothing will we purchased new mattresses for the bunks and we got these on Amazon and because the bunk the bunk mattresses are kind of a different size they're not a traditional twin size mattress we had to order them specially but I think these will be nice and then we also ordered to go over them and I ordered these on Wayfair um, these mattress encasements so they're waterproof, bed bug proof, and allergen proof. Since these uh, mattresses will be staying in the camper, I will always keep them covered with this mattress encasement. It zips all the way around them.
with the way that the bunks turned out. I think that they turned out super cute. And I really love all of the vibrant color in the pillows, in the comforter, and in the curtains. And I'm sure that the grandchildren will love them too. And Rick and I can't wait to take them camping so they can enjoy these cute bunks. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and leave us a comment below and subscribe to our channel so you can watch our previous videos on what we've done to restore the camper so far, as well as our upcoming videos. Next, I'm going to be working on the main bedroom. I'm going to be sanding down the walls and the cabinets and getting them ready for paint and also prepping the floors so that we can install our new flooring. So on behalf of Rick and Emmy and myself, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.